Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to identify like terms. Now remember, like terms are terms with the same variables to the same powers. Let's jump into number one, where we have six terms listed. Now there are going to be three pairs of like terms. So everything has a matching like term here. We'll start with 7x. Now 7x has a coefficient of 7 and then a variable of x. So we need to find another term with that variable of x. Remember, coefficients, the numbers in front of the variables, do not matter when it comes to whether terms are like terms or not. So let's box in 7x, and then the like term is going to be 4x. Both of those terms have that variable of x. I do want to mention that if no exponent is shown, then there is an understood exponent of 1. So something is to the power of 1. Anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So we typically don't include the exponent of 1. It's not needed. So for 7x and 4x, those variables are to the power of 1. So we have the same variable of x in those terms to the same power of 1. Next, we have 10. This is called a constant term or constant because the value stays the same. It stays constant. There aren't any attached variables that can change the value of this term. So let's circle 10 to keep it separated from the other like terms. And then the like term is going to be 8. 8 is also a constant term. So constant terms are like terms. And then lastly, we have 7y and y. So they share that variable of y, and there isn't any exponent shown. So again, these are to the power of 1. 7y and y are like terms. We can use triangles to separate that pair of like terms from the other pairs of like terms. Now, as far as this term right here, y, if no coefficient is shown, then the coefficient is 1. We have 1 of whatever follows. And we can always write that coefficient of 1 in front of the variable if we would like. So that's technically 1y there. So something to keep in mind as far as coefficients. Let's move on to number 2 where we have another three pairs of like terms. We will start with negative 3ab. So let's box in negative 3ab and find the like term. So we need those variables of a and b. And both of those variables are to the power of 1. So the like term is 5ab. Next, we have 9a cubed. So we need a variable of a to the power of 3. So let's circle this term. And then the like term is going to be negative 12a cubed. So you can see that variable of a to the power of 3 make those like terms. And then lastly, we have a cubed b. So we have that variable of a cubed, so a to the power of 3. And then we have that variable of b, which is to the power of 1. The like term is going to be 2a cubed b. Now again, for this term right here, a cubed b, since no coefficient is shown, that means the coefficient is 1. So we can always rewrite it with that coefficient of 1 if preferred. Let's move on to numbers 3 and 4, where we will identify like terms within algebraic expressions. Starting with number 3, where we have 9y plus 5 plus 5y plus 2. So are there any like terms within this expression? Yes. Let's start with 9y and 5y. Both terms have that variable of y to the power of 1. So 9y and 5y are like terms. We also have two constant terms, 5 and 
two. So let's box those in to separate them. Five and two are like terms. So we have two pairs of like terms within that algebraic expression. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have 7x squared plus negative 3xy plus negative 3 plus x squared plus 14xy. So do we have any like terms within this algebraic expression? Yes, let's start with 7x squared. So we have a variable of x to the power of 2. x squared has a variable of x to the power of 2. So 7x squared and x squared are like terms. Next, we have negative 3xy. So let's circle this term in order to separate it from the other like terms. We have a variable of x and a variable of y. So we have two variables and both of them are to the power of one. 14xy also has the variables of x and y to the power of one. So negative 3xy and 14xy are like terms. And then lastly, we have a constant term of negative three, but we don't have any other terms left, so there aren't any more like terms. We are done. We identified all of the like terms. So there you have it. There's how to identify like terms. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.